So, you want to control your lasers with DMX? Well, it's never been easier thanks to Laser World Shownet. Lasers have had DMX control for quite a while now, but Laser World have now expanded their capabilities. Before Shownet, many DMX controlled lasers were limited to set patterns, set colors, set sizes, and you could rotate it, and that was about it. So first off, what is Shownet? Shownet is Laser World's interface for communicating with a laser. It comes as an external interface or an internal interface built right into some of their laser units, like the DS units I have in the studio with me today. The external interface can plug into any ILDA compatible laser and enable Shownet control. Behind me, you'll notice the 11 DS units from Laser World. We've got 10 DS1000 RGBs and one DS3000 RGB above me in the center here. They've already been set up and ready to work on DMX using Shownet. Thanks to DMX, each laser can be controlled individually or they can be set up on the same address to do the same thing. But where's the fun in that? No longer do you have to have expensive ILDA interfaces per laser, a load of USB ports on your computer, and expensive and fiddly ILDA cables if you want to run shows with multiple lasers. We start by connecting the laser to DMX software or a DMX controller. On this model, we've got three pin XLR in and out for the DMX. On other models, it's five pin XLR in and out. Shonet has two different DMX modes, a DJ mode and a professional mode and these can be switched inside the admin tool software using a network cable, and that plugs into the LAN port on the laser. DJ mode is the more simplistic and easy to use setting, whereas professional mode gives you much more control over the entire laser. Once connected up to DMX, you set the DMX address. On the DS units, you use the standard dip switches you find on a lot of other fixtures. Just make sure that dip switch 10 is on. On other units, they have a digital screen where you can set up the DMX address. Of course, you need to ensure that the key is in and switch to the on position and the interlock is also connected. Otherwise, you're not going to get any output from the laser. Controlling lasers via DMX is no different to controlling any other DMX enabled fixture, so you don't have anything new to learn. So now we're all set up, we're ready to start programming. Shownet allows you to select one of 254 possible patterns or animations that are built right into the lasers and on SD cards inside the Shownet interface. You can then take those and manipulate them how you like to get the look you're after. So we thought we'd put our Lofty to the test and ask him to program a little lighting show to some music. And here's what he came up with. that show was programmed and controlled on Avalite's Titan software and the pre-installed files on the SD card were what were in use. We didn't add any on there ourselves. But you can use any DMX software or any DMX desk to control the lasers. I'm going to ask Lofty to give us a little rundown and a brief overview on what he did to create some of the effects using Shownet. So I started by tilting the lasers up above the camera lens and above head height for safety. 
we're using professional mode on these lasers, which gives us the greatest amount of control on show nets via DMX. So, the first effects I'm going to be running through are the red lasers with the expanding green beam, which is a very, very simple effect to do with the Aberlite's Titan key frame shapes. Simply select all of your laser units. Now, the first thing we want to do is select which pattern we'll be using, in which case we used pattern 49 on the DS units, which gives you the long flat beam. The next thing you want to do is you want to be able to program your colors and where they'll flash from and to. To do that, you'll go into shapes and effects, keyframe shapes, create. Then you want to select your first color, which will be red and then add the frame. Your second colour will be green, and you then add that frame too. The next thing you want to be doing is adding a zoom pulse using the x-axis. This is done very simply in the same way as your colours have been. You'll simply select your fixtures. You will then go shapes and effects, keyframe shapes, create. Now what you want to do for this one is you want to go to your beam attributes and then go to your X and Y sizes. So your first one will want to be zero. You're going to add that frame. And your second frame will want to be at 100%. So now I have recorded my X axis keyframe shape. All I need to do is match the frame to our colour shape above. So that's the basic part of the effect done. All we're going to do now is spread it across two fixtures per keyframe shape. And that is the effect done. The next effect are the green hot beams, which are also easily achieved by the keyframe shapes and position palettes. To set this effect up, all we need to do is select our laser units and narrow down both the X and Y axis until we get a single beam. Now this beam can be any color you want, however, in the video we have opted for green. To speed things up, we have programmed our four position palettes, one at the end of each axis. So we're gonna head over to our keyframe shapes and we're going to record one position for each frame. Once we've finished, you'll see a sweeping effect. So all I've done for this effect is I've reduced the width of each of the frame to around about 10%. This gives us a shorter, snappier transition. All that's left to do is spread this across all of our fixtures, and then we can adjust the speed to whichever track we need. At the very beginning of the video, you'll notice the six blazes at the bottom expanding from a hot beam to a wide fan of beams whilst going from blue to green. As the DX units have analog modulation, we can use RGB color mixing to create fades, snaps, chases, or to mix any color we want, including rainbows like this. So you can see controlling the lasers via DMX and creating some of those effects are actually pretty easy. And it's actually no different to any DMX programming that you've done before. Some of you may actually be concerned about some of the safety aspects involved. But well, don't worry about that. Laser World have already thought about it. And ShowNet also has some safety zones set up inside that you can control via DMX. Whilst we're speaking about software, did we mention that the admin tool allows you to put your own custom animations and patterns directly onto the ShowNet interface? So if you're wanting to project, say, the names of a couple for a wedding, you can create this before the day upload it directly to the laser, and on the day, you can trigger the effect via DMX. You can also set up safety and projection zones inside the admin tool of ShowNet, and upload them directly to the laser, which means they're permanently stored on board, or on board of your external interface. This is really useful if you're having a guest LD come along, or if you're letting someone loose and programming your lasers, and you don't want them to scan into the crowd. It simply turns the laser off at the point that you set. Nice and easy. You can even control the lasers 
using Laser World's free show editor software or their paid for show controller software. You can do this by using a simple network cable from your computer. For multiple lasers, we highly recommend using a router or a network switch. Some of the higher end lasers have inbuilt network switches, which means that you can connect the lasers up like you do with DMX in a daisy chain fashion, but instead of using the network cables connecting straight to your computer. It makes it really, really easy. And this still gives you control over each individual laser if you wanted to. Maybe we'll do another video on that a little bit more in depth at a later date. So there's a quick overview of how to control your lasers via DMX using Laser World ShowNet. Now you've seen how easy it is, you should give it a go too. Of course, there's so much more that you can do with the lasers that we haven't shown today, but if you do have any questions, please feel free to get in touch or leave a comment.